everyone and welcome back to my channel witness the fitness i'm sarah shields and again i have roy shields my husband hi honey thank you for joining us let's see have you ever sneezed and peed i was just gonna sneeze i was just <laughs> i was gonna sneeze i'm like bless you <clears throat> or laughed and leaked oh wait how about this one You're doing bicycle crunches at the gym, a workout class, and you piss yourself. You dribble. Get those knees up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Let's do this. <laughs> and thank God you're wearing, I don't know, you're wearing your black pants because if you're wearing like any other color. Like gray? Yeah. Gray seems to be <laughs> the worst. You can see your pee stain. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. And even though it's natural, you can't help but look because on the treadmill or if you're, if you're doing something, somebody's ahead of you and they're really having a workout, your eye is drawn to it. It's like, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> you know, like get multicolored <laughs> Maybe for a second, pants? but <laughs> Maybe. you know, I understand the sweat. I understand the sweat. Even the pee too. I understand that too. You know, having four kids. Uh, yeah. You know, that's it's rough. Wow, we're getting you personal. Know, getting older, you know, things happen. We're not working that like pelvic 20. pelvic muscle. We need to work those muscles, get things moving, get things tightening up, so that way there's no bladder leakage. All right, that's what we're gonna focus on today. And that's called Kegels. Kegels. I've I know we don't that. like to talk about it, but you know, it's an important <clears throat> I don't part know what they are, but I'm good at them. You know, the the pelvic floor, it's like it supports like the uterus, bladder, um, the anus. <laughs> Sorry. What was it? Buzz? Just a little piece of fuzz oh. from your shirt. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it supports that region down there. Okay. Okay. So you don't, you know, pee on yourself. You're able to hold your urine in, you know. How come when you get scared, like you can urinate, like uh, uncontrollably? And that's like, that's like a fight or flight yeah. mechanism. Well, I don't where, know why that is. Where like you would but... pee and whatever wild animal was trying to attack you would stop and smell your pee and allow you to have time to get away. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's... Somebody... I don't know about somebody... That. Okay, so knowing how to do a Kegel or knowing what muscles that you're even working because sometimes when we squeeze, we just end up squeezing a whole bunch of muscles. And we're just like, ugh. We don't want to squeeze our arms or our abs or... Um, our legs, our thighs, we just, we want that, the pelvic floor. So there's a few ways that you can do this. <laughs> For women, okay, what you can do is get in a comfortable position, laying or sitting down, and inserting a finger into your vagina, okay? And then squeeze your vagina, squeeze your finger. I you was know, gonna that be is funny, going but to, this is serious. But yeah, this is serious. Okay. So, that way you know that you're using the right muscles. So you're gonna squeeze that finger, all right? Once you squeeze feel that, finger. remember what you're squeezing, okay? It's kind of like you're, you're pulling your anus and your vagina up. You're gonna feel an upward sensation, okay? All right, so with men, you know, in front of a mirror, you're gonna to want to also squeeze, you know, squeeze that pelvis area, the anus upward. So you're gonna feel your penis move and you're gonna feel your anus have an upward feeling. Now, do you feel that when you're doing it? I do, but I have a okay. question. Okay, yes. Why does the man have to have a mirror <clears throat> in the in the So window? they can see that, that their penis is moving. If they're not looking down, if they're concentrating on what they're doing. Won't they, so, like, I don't know, they can look down. I'm just trying to be helpful. I, th I think they'll feel it. I think they'll feel it flapping. <laughs> okay, you know, okay. I, I All right, you don't a, need a mirror, but. I feel it flapping. Sometimes you need a, just a good visual. I just, I just wrote. <laughs> I just wrote, I love you in Morse code. Oh, yeah? My Kiko. <laughs> I know. Every time I'm talking, I can feel myself <laughs> lift up. I'm like, oh, yes. just It works on your Burps posture. Up. Just it lift does. yourself. Ooh. It's better for back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just kidding. I want the okay, Kiko. She's using. <laughs> Shut up. 
<laughs> Come on, okay. All right. <laughs> so that's a, a one way for a man to do it. And a woman to do it. And also, you don't have to do here. it that way either. You can also do it in the bathroom. And I'll show you that in a minute. All right, follow me in the bathroom. I'll show you another way to do it. No, you're using those muscles while you're um, kinkling. Is kinkling a word? I don't know. Okay, all right. Don't look. Okay, sit on the toilet and you're gonna start urinating, okay? All right, nice and relaxed. I'm gonna start peeing. And then as you're going, stop, hold it. Now you're using those muscles. You're doing a Kegel, you're pulling everything up, you're holding that urine in. Now this is not how I suggest you do Kegels all the time. That's not a good idea. You don't wanna do this on the toilet while you're peeing. No, no. No, 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 no. So, any other time, Kegels galore, just not when you're urinating, okay? Because that can lead to UTIs, so. All right, I hope that helped. <sighs> Bodily functions, gotta love them. All right, I gotta go. So if you're not comfortable with that position, oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, <I> <laughs> if you're not comfortable with those, there's always an alternative. Just the main thing is you want to do this as a daily routine. Get into it. So you, you can be anywhere. No one's going to know that you're doing it. That's the best part. And you go to the bathroom. It. You go to the bathroom a lot. And uh -huh. it's actually good. You should talk about it. You should announce it. Yeah. Talk about I've been keeking you know, this whole time. See, see Remind you, everyone to do it. Kegels, people. Get Kegels. everybody's opinion about yeah. it. You know, <laughs> Maybe they don't know what a Kegel is. You could save their life if they start exercising that Kegel mm -hmm. further yeah. down the road. So try exercising it. Holding it in for three to five seconds. Letting go. Giving it a rest. Three to five seconds. Pulling it back up. And down. And repeat that. 15 to 20 times and do that three times a day at work at home in the car while you're driving while you're working out while you're doing some squats while you're sitting next to somebody making a video yes Ooh. oh i can't do that <laughs> oh, dude. jesus oh, i love it i'm still working on it uh, and have fun with it, you know. Uh, see how many Kiko flexes you can do in a minute. Ooh, and then competition! Try to beat that. Yeah. Oh, it's on. It's Kiko. It's Kiko. Uh, and contest. mine is weak right now. I need to build that up. Build know, it up. It's pretty strong to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So keep going through March with these Kegels and just keep continuing to the rest of your life because that is important and I care about your health. All right, well, thanks for watching us today and I hope you enjoy our time, Rod and I.